Hello everyone and thanks for joining us for another video. We haven't done one of these uh, house hunting videos for a while, mainly because we've been trying to move into our own house, if you've uh, been watching other uh, videos on our channel. So that's pretty well taken care of now, so uh, we're back into it again to try and give you some more information on homes that are available for sale in Thailand. So this time this uh, we're at a new estate, uh, roughly halfway between Hua Hin and uh, Cha Am. So both of these homes that we're going to show you here today are more, far more traditional Thai style homes. So you'll see some features that, uh, if you're looking from a, a Western viewpoint, are a bit unusual, perhaps. But um, we've not shown a true Thai style home yet. Uh, certainly not a new one, that is. Uh, so here's two for you to have a look at today. Now, you'll see just where I'm in the bathroom here, and this'll, you'll, this is something you'll see in both of the homes. There's no hot water service. So there's no shower hot water system on, on the wall there. That's quite normal in Thailand. So Thais generally don't want any hot water. They don't need it. Uh, it's hot all the time, all the year round. But uh, you can add it if you want, right? You you can add hot water. It's not a problem. Whether it's a external, uh, you know, hot water storage tank, or which is far more common, uh, individual water heaters at each outlet. So mainly in the showers, but you can also have them in the sink as well. So this this townhouse here is uh, two story. So just coming up the stairs now, there was a bathroom and a big living area downstairs. So this is the main bedroom upstairs. It's kind of an ensuite, but a bedroom. Now you can see some roadworks going on outside there. That's quite an extensive upgrade to the highway outside of here but it probably be finished in about six months right now it's quite noisy and quite dusty but it will be uh, completed soon i don't know exactly how long but i would say about six months it should be well and truly over and it's going to uh really improve the highway out there just a bit inconvenient right now but worth it in the long run. Yes, how much is this one? This house. So going into the ensuite now from the main bedroom. It's it's just total Thai style. You want shower screens and so on, of course you can add it, but it's not included in the price. With both of these homes, what you see is what you get. Here's another bedroom. That's a decent size one too. Bear in mind there's no curtains in this place so you'll have to allow money for that. But this is, you know, this is a, a budget townhouse really. A, uh, a lower price budget townhouse. The build quality on both of these homes is about average for Thailand. It's perfectly acceptable. So you can park two cars out there. This is uh, just total Thai style, really is. It's, uh, it's all open. This is just a, a Thai type of thing. It's really quite uh, interesting, quite cool, we think. So that's a little block of townhouses there, up the front of the project. So quite a few of these uh, houses in the complex have been sold, but there's still plenty available for sale.
Right, so we're heading to the second house now. It's the one just here on the left of the picture. It's got a plunge pool out the front. It's not a real swimming po swimming pool, but you know it, it's okay. I guess if you're an older couple or something, you, you know you can cool off anyway. So these houses aren't huge, and they're really for um, they're really for say two people. I'd say both of them are really suited to two people or maybe three people, but they've both got two bedrooms. The advantage is the price is a lot lower. Now with this one here, this is a detached house. Everything you see in the video is included in the price. So that means the furniture is included. There might be a few little odds and ends that they don't include, but uh, you, you just have to clarify that with the developer. But uh, everything here, mats and uh, rugs and so on, is all included in the price. As are the air conditioning units that you'll see. And uh, importantly, there's curtains on most of the windows. There was no curtains, if you recall, in the townhouse that you just saw. Now, where's the kitchen, you might ask? Well, this is Thai-style home, as was the townhouse. So you're not going to see any European, Western-style kitchen here. It's uh, not a thing for, the, for a Thai home. The kitchen is out here in this area. And what you would do is uh, you'd buy yourself some kind of uh, a portable gas stove. And there's a provision there on the left side uh, for a fridge and for a washing machine. You can of course put a fridge inside and the washing machine inside. That area there. Water tank out the side. If you need to know the size of the land just contact the developer. Uh, land size is not a big deal in Thailand. Most blocks are fairly small, maybe 330 square metres. So a very nice little home for two or a couple and one child, say. Um, little reading nook there which we thought was nice The ceiling lights there are, uh, are cheaper ones, they, they take a light bulb. Uh, the ones, uh, you can get ones that are, are LED, but, but they're more expensive obviously. These ones are just like an entry level type light. Um, they're fine, you just got to replace uh, the bulbs in them, which is cheaper than replacing an entire LED uh, down light. Again, no hot water in the shower. And there's no hot water in the sinks either unless you want to add it, and it can be done. Another shot of the bathroom. Tiles are nice, just simple. No, you quite often see some outlandish colours in tiles in a Thai uh, built home. 
But this one's quite good. We, we like it like that. But it's all a personal choice, of course. It's a nice little sitting area out there. You see there's two chairs there, so it's really a home that's designed for two people. Oh, you know, something like this, you could make a holiday home for yourselves. Spend a few months in your home country and then a few months in Thailand and then back to your home country for another few months and so on. Come to Thailand a couple of times a year, whatever you like. The common fee, as it's called here in Thailand, is about... is. Uh, listed as 1500 baht per month well thanks for watching and uh, being subscriber to our channel I hope this video helps someone there's more house hunting videos coming up